All right. Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and today I am coming at you live to answer the question, is the Flare 58 worth the money? Now, I will answer that for you, and I will be very thorough in the reason why I say whether it is or whether it is not. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I know I did a live earlier today and the video was, uh, sound was a little bit choppy. So if you're watching this, I'd greatly appreciate it and let me know if that is still happening. Uh, try to figure out how, if it's my mic or is it my phone. So let me know in the comments. But until then, let's go ahead and pull a shot and we will taste it together. Uh, there is nobody on right now. So hopefully soon someone Someone will be able to tell me if there's something wrong with my mic. So like I said, we pulled the shot earlier. So today what we are going to do is we are just going to pull a shot and taste the Flare 58. Also, the DS64 is going to be another discussion here very soon, and I am going to also be answering, is that worth the money, because that has been an absolute amazing coffee grinder, and I will explain why in a future video. So it's very important. I'm going to get this puck prep. So just go ahead. Put everything back. I like to keep all my stuff nice and organized so it stays clean all the time. So the next thing we're going to do is come in our drawer here and get the WDT. So let me bring you all a little bit closer so you can see the puck prep work. Just sounds weird cutting out. Okay, let's see here. Is this better? Can you hear me a little bit better? Or is it still pretty bad? Trying to see if my audio is still bad or if it's good now. I need to figure this audio thing out because it's never done this before. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I get some feedback here in a second to see if it's still cutting out. Hopefully it's not. A little better okay if someone's putting off fireworks right now outside my house and my dogs are going nuts so if you guys hear that in the background I'm sorry all right so now that we have our puck prep get our WDT and we are good to go so I'm going to be using the st. Anthony distribution tool on the block as well definitely worth the money Pullman is worth the money if you enjoy it obviously coffee tools are only as worth it as um, you think so I really enjoy the Pullman I use it when I do my coffee pop-ups as well I just find it extremely enjoyable to use all right super easy we're just gonna lock this into place I have the kettle on, it's at 212 degrees, and I'm going to go ahead and lower this tripod to get you guys a better angle. So again, we're just pulling a shot here, and we're going to decide if the Flare 58 is worth the money. So I'm just going to get the best angle possible for you all. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and pull a shot up close and see what we're working with. I'm also going to take this off and lay it down so you can see that a little bit better. All right. So now what we're going to do, we add the puck screen. I've already had this on here for a couple minutes, so it should be all nice and hot. Go ahead and lift the handle as you pour in your hot water. 
I kind of like to go nice and slow. I don't like to go too fast when doing this. Lift it all the way up and fill it to the top. All right. Get your cup of choice. Now you can weigh this. I just haven't weighed it. But we're going to do the first couple drops here. I'd say usually about three grams. And then now we're going to get it to full espresso range. So about nine bars. A little bit of channeling there. You can definitely see where there's a little bit of channeling still, but that still looks pretty good. And we're gonna pull up. One thing to note, always make sure you put another cup and do it right away. Uh, the first time I used the flare, I didn't do this right away. I forgot about it and I went to go remove the porta filter and hot water pretty much splashed everywhere and it sucked. So I usually bring it back up and I do it until you start to see it foam, which in my review, which would be right there, it's been a lot better for puck prep as well. All right, so let me go ahead and raise this tripod up. And let's do a review here. And let's see my honest opinions on what I the flare. All right, nice looking crema. I'm just gonna lean down here because uh, my tripod is small and I have to get a better one. So, yeah, so I that shot on the flare. I think the flare does a great job at, I mean, it's a lever machine. It's a manual machine. You can control it all yourself. If you want three bars of pressure, do three bars of pressure. If you want nine bars of pressure, you get nine. The machine is really nice, uh, especially the 58 because it has that heating element. So I kind of all the cons first and then we'll end with positives, so pros. So the biggest con would be the porta filter. Uh, I think uh, the porta filter managing the heat. So the heat is very good with the controller and I think that's a great touch that the flare did. Now, when you heat the, the top unit, it gets really hot. And it's really nice because it really keeps that, that, um, that heat in there when you pour the water and it doesn't instantly pretty much start diminishing in heat once you pour the, uh, the hot water into the actual chamber. So that's the biggest thing is, is I found that if you turn the controller on, you normally have to wait a good 30 minutes before the portafilter filter itself gets hot into the actual um, group head. Do use uh, their electric kettle to heat up their uh, porta filter, which you can do that. Um, I just don't really like doing that because I tried it and it kind of sweats a little bit, and it also makes the wood a little bit damp. And I don't like that because I think over time it will wear that out. Now, with the small amount of time that I've had this unit. Um, they have been absolutely amazing and above my expectation. You know, I have been extremely excited to wake up every morning to pull a shot. And as you saw, it thing on for maybe 10 minutes heating up and it does pull really good shots. Now, obviously, I think it could have been better with the extract. It were a little hotter and that was just on me because I wanted to pull it fast just so I can show you may, what may happen filter as much um, extremely sturdy it looks extremely nice as you can see the footprint that it takes up is very very small I mean I have all of my stuff I even have the flare pro 2 on the other side which is extremely nice and I will be going over that unit as well but I've really been just spotlighting the flare 58 um, and the DF 64 because these two units paired together 
number one is just incredible budget if you want to make great espresso at home you cannot go wrong with these two units uh flare 58 the flare 58 was sent to me from andrew over at the team and uh, at flare so i really appreciate you all for letting me review this unit uh, also the ds64 was sent to review um, by espresso outlet from joe so a big thank you to both of these uh, companies for sending me these products to review i've been extremely grateful to uh have be in brewing coffee every single day with them and i look to really come on here a lot more often i just got off work so that's why i'm dressing this up but i really want to make more videos there is going to be an edited video coming on the flare 58 uh for my full review so make there make sure to check that out i go through a lot of points but just wanted to go on live and just kind of recap just kind of what i and how excited I have been. It's almost rejuvenated my excitement for co not really rejuvenated because I've always loved coffee, but it just really makes me eager. Like as soon as I get up, the first thing I want to do is, turn, is click that little controller to turn on the unit. So that nice. I think that the flare has been extremely nice sitting in the counter as well. I mean, I just pretty much put together this brew bar in another room. Obviously, it's dark out, so I have the curtain shut. So hopefully, the curtains don't look too bad. But yeah, now, uh, just to give you a kind of an example of kind of the footprint too. So we have the Flare Pro 2 over here with the St. Anthony, and we also have the extra porter filter that was sent from Andrew as well. We have our Normcore uh, brewer here that I will review here shortly. Knockbox that I made that is for sale on my Etsy page. Also, my bean seller that is also for sale on my Etsy page kind of made it look like a marble look. So, really like that. And it doesn't take up a lot. And I think that three cylinders are pretty good to uh, to keep coffee in because I usually brew about three a day. Uh, I'll probably brew one more by the end of tonight as well. DS64, the block party by St. Anthony. I do have all of my tools in this drawer here. So, all my tools that I will be reviewing in the station are right there and i got my pullman my extremely nice i'll also link that and the flare 58 so been really excited i can't wait to keep making video videos for you guys with better lighting and i hope you guys do enjoy again my name is dylan doing some espresso bar hopefully my mic is a little bit better i will be reviewing this video once it is completed and i will see if it's just my mic or my phone but i will get it sorted out for all of you guys hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day wherever you are in the world and as always stay caffeinated peace